Hi, stationery friends. Welcome to Ginger Peachy Stationery. My name is Sarah, and today I want to share with you my uh, fountain pen storage system. Um, I recently changed my system, and I'm really enjoying it. So I'm going to show you what I do. Um, these pen cases are empty right now. They have contained my currently inked pens, which I put all into my fountain pen storage so we could see them all together. Um, these two binders, they're not binders, but these two cases here are 48 pen cases that I have used for the past seven or so years um, to store my pens. They have been perfectly fine. They are like a velvety lined case with, you know, the elastic to hold your pen. Some of them are kind of wearing out. Um, with a flap in the middle, perfectly fine. They zip up, the zippers are great. Um, the second one that I bought seemed to be a little bit less high quality. Um, the, the black velvet was shedding onto my pens, but you know, they were perfectly fine. I just kept using them. Like I would not say they were wonderful. They were fine. So it was time for an upgrade. <laughs> um, so here is my new fountain pen storage. These acrylic drawers. Um, I think they are really pretty. Um, I picked these drawers up from Amazon. Um, I will link them down below. These top two sections came in a two pack. Um, so there's this, this one has two shorter, you know, narrower drawers on the top and then the two wide drawers. And this one just has three wide drawers. And then I bought one more set of the wide drawers. Um, I think I might go back and buy one more set. Um, and I'll show you why in just a minute. Um, the drawers did not come with the little, um, pen trays in them. I had to buy those. So I have some little leftovers here from the pen trays. These are from Penn State Industries. Um, you order them online and um, these are plastic trays, but they're, you know, pretty sturdy as far as what you need for this. And you can cut them with scissors. So you can see I cut them not perfectly evenly, but I was able to cut these down and put them right into those drawers. Um, I'll give you a quick little overview of my desktop. Um, I've got a couple of things here that I'll be traveling with at Christmas time. I'm sorry, I'm out of focus. Um, this beautiful roll top desk belonged to a neighbor of mine, an elderly neighbor who I got to know. And um, her children offered me her desk when she passed away. And it is just so beautiful. I have been really grateful to have this, this lovely desk. Um, here's my desktop <laughs> with my little childhood uh, ballerina who um, recently broke so she's up here because I glued her back together um just some fun little things you know this came out out of my grandmother's house actually just a little cute lion that I decided not to throw away and um these are the original three Ferris wheel press inks when they did their very first kickstarter um I backed it and those are the only three Ferris wheel press ink bottles that I own because they are very expensive but um, here's some little 3D printed things, my little Pinquisition pen rest, and my Inca-Pet um, ink vial holders. My other two little ink vial holders are up here, along with my little Inca-Pet pen rest, kitty cat, um, and that giant Bic uh, four color container. I love that thing. Um, here next to my desk, I have a couple of paintings. The top one was painted by my grandmother. Um, and I just love it. And then this bottom one also came from the same neighbor's home. Um, her children offered that to me and I really like it. Um, on the wall over here, I have all of my ink samples and little small ink bottles. And you can see me, hello. Um, all the little small ink bottles that will fit on here are, this is a nail polish holder and I used to have it full of nail polish. And when I stopped uh, collecting nail polish, <laughs> Um, five or six years ago, I was like, what can I use this for? And um, I realized that it would be perfect for fountain pen inks. So I realized this is a lot of samples. I love these little um, J.R. Urban little bottles. Um, I just posted on Instagram recently that I just finished this Larmes de Cassis is one of my favorite inks. Um, it is the first bottle of ink I ever bought and it is the first one that's empty. So that's lasted me about eight years, and believe it or not, I actually use it a good bit. So anyway, that's not what you're here for. Um, here is my pen storage, and um, so I put these trays in there, cut them down, and I'll just give you a little peek inside. Um, here are some Edison pens, Narwhal, Lamy, 
a cross pin and a Picasso, um, two woodshed pins. Um, and this is from Little Pin Company, Little Pin Designs, Little Pin Designs or Little Pin Company. Um, you know, it's a custom. Next drawer has Sailors, Pilot, one Waterman, and my three Banu pins. Um, these Banu Euphorias are some of the largest pins that I own, some of. Um, and they fit in here really well. There's just a little bit of space at the top, but they fit in there pretty good. Um, up next, these are Platinums. Um, two Le Bons, two Leonardos, and my beloved Montegrappa Elmo Marshmallow, one of my most favorite pins. Um, sorry, let me see. Let me get back to 1X. There we go. And then up here, this whole drawer is Franklin Kristoff. Um, these Franklin Kristoff Model 66 pins are a little too long. So they're in here at an angle. Um, and then I have one other pin up here. My Esterbrook candy just doesn't quite fit. So, um, here, let me finish showing you. Um, Caveco. This is Pelican and, um, Twisby Not Ecos. These are Twisby Ecos. <laughs> Um, a little room to grow, and I've got one on my Christmas list, so we'll see if that comes to me. And uh, Esther Brooke. And then up top, I have all the Retro 51s um, in here, plus these two on the end. So my thought is that I should have made one drawer, one of these wide drawers. Um, I should have put the pen trays going this way. I just kind of guessed that everything would fit. So I'm thinking I might buy one more set of three. Um, I don't really need room to grow. You know, I'm really trying to like kind of one in, one out this <laughs> most of the time. But um, I might just go ahead and get one more set to give everything a little breathing room. But I will put the trays in this way. And actually, I just tested this. And this fits, if I cut it down here, this is like the perfect width to fit right into um, one of these drawers. So, and I have two of these left. So this will be perfect. And I will just be left with a couple of little pieces of this left over, um, to put this into two more drawers. And then I'll have one drawer that I could use for paper or something else without a pen tray in it. But anyway, this is my pen storage. I will link all these things, not all pens. I will link this, um, drawer set down below. And I will link um, Penn State in Industries pen trays. Um, so let me know if you would like a more in-depth overview of my desk sometime, because that's something I could potentially do. Um, I can show you how I store some things. It's not perfect or beautiful, but you know, it is, uh, it's my space and I enjoy it. So anyway, thank you so much for joining me today and I will see you next time. Bye.